Alright guys, welcome to the Put The Power Down video. In today's video, I just want to go ahead and sit down and discuss the 2018 Mustang. Now starting off, uh, just before we actually get into the actual video, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at uh, Dan the Light, uh, actually at Put The Power Down, uh, my bad about that, and my Snapchat is actually Dan the Light Man, so if you guys want to go ahead and follow me on there, uh, you'll see stories of my everyday life here at school, and you also see stuff about a car uh, here and there and whatnot. You also know when I post and upload new content, I'll also you know, let people know what's going on in there. Stuff like that. So, you know, just go ahead and follow me on Snapchat and stuff. Also, I uh, want to go ahead and start off by saying I don't like really standing and talking like this in rooms and whatnot. But uh, it, it's getting dark outside really fast. Like, I, I went to Walmart earlier at like 6 and then walked out at 6.30 and it was black outside. So, I uh, couldn't really get in my car and, and do a video that I actually wanted to do today. But hopefully I'll have time in the next couple of weeks to actually get that video done. But I'm uh, going to go ahead and start talking off about the 2018 Mustang. Now, here's some news that we recently got. As far as the 2018 Mustang having a level two performance pack uh, option, it seems like what Ford is calling it. And you know, a lot of people were buzzing and whatnot. Some people don't even like the name, the uh, level two. Uh, for me, I, I just think it's kind of cool, I guess, just to say level two. Uh, some people think it's kind of basic and you know, they could have done a little bit better job. But for me, I personally don't really mind. You know, I think it's a nice little bit of add-ons. Like everyone says, I think they're going for the uh, Camaro 1LE is kind of what they're targeting uh, with this package and you know, basically really just upgrading it and uh, yeah I do like how they're doing that that way you know your performance pack is still available but if you're really 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 a hardcore track guy that way you have an option to, you know if you really want to go on a track you have the level two option there which kind of does make me wonder if you have a level two you know no one just stops at level two so is there a level three coming you know it's just something uh, something to think about also go ahead and comment down below what you guys think about anything I'm talking about as far as news wise because I'm gonna go ahead and keep going over some stuff also the uh, I do I do have a friend who recently told me news about a bullet mustang uh sadly i cannot go any more in depth into that because the company that told him the information can get in trouble for uh telling anyone at all so uh you know i'm just gonna leave it at that and uh but it does sound like we do have a bullet coming i personally have been told this information by someone usually i'm not a person to really try and circulate rumors and whatnot because i don't like not having really a credible source but uh, it does really seem like the bullet Mustang will come here in 2018 so people like Matt Moran motoring uh, aka super WX fan he will have his uh, bullet Mustang it seems like quite soon here uh, within you know the next year well obviously within the next year but uh, probably before you know spring starts that car will be released uh, this is also something I really think is interesting and I do hopefully in my opinion I do think that uh they probably might do the level two performance package uh, kind of as the bait, like all of the bullet Mustangs of the level two performance packages. I think that'd be a really cool touch, you know, not just the uh, appearance stuff, but if it also the bullet Mustang was a special handling type of deal. Um, another thing to talk about is what I actually found out myself, and when I found this out, I actually was in class and I should have been paying attention to the professor, but I ended up on my phone somehow, some way. Anyways, and I ended up building my own 2018 Mustang, you know, build and price. You can do that on just about any car manufacturer's website. You know, they have an option top right or wherever you go. And uh, basically, when I was doing this, I looked at, you know, the as soon as you start, you have the options to choose, you know, your EcoBoost, uh, your base model EcoBoost, because there's no V6 anymore, as most of you guys already know. Uh, you have EcoBoost, EcoBoost premium GT and then the GT premium options that are right there and as I was looking at this I also saw the gas mileage numbers and I believe I have them on my phone just to make sure I don't uh, say those wrong because I took the screenshot and I will put those up on the screen so you guys can look at that it's 18 city and 27 highway and the GT is the exact same number so that is very odd I'm not sure exactly what's going on I actually even opened up my laptop to check about this and uh, I went to the building price but as before you actually get to the building price website uh, you know you go to the Mustang uh, you know car page and you'll see that Ford actually has the um, it says that the Mustang can get 31 miles to the gallon highway. So either there's a misprint going on on Ford's website or something going on because, like I said, I got this on my phone, the 27 miles to the gallon. And I also got the same thing as far as but the build and price screen telling me that 27 miles to the gallon is for the GT and the EcoBoost. 
uh, uh, when I was building and pricing on my laptop. So, you know, it's happening on both, you know, uh, mobile platforms. If you're trying to build and price, you know, you see it on both areas. So I'm really just trying to figure out what's going on there. I'm hoping it's a misprint. I'm thinking it is because, you know, it would really defeat the purpose of having an EcoBoost if your EcoBoost is getting the same as a V8, which is, I guess, good for the V8 guys because they're getting better than they were before in the previous 15 through 17 generation of the, uh, you know, Mustang S550 generation. But you know, for the EcoBoost, that's kind of why you get an EcoBoost Mustang is to have that better gas mileage above uh, above the V8, and uh, it might be because you know the v, the uh, EcoBoost took a power uh, took a power bump. It still makes 310 horsepower at the crank, but it is getting around th uh, it has 350 uh, pound feet of torque now compared to the I believe 320 pound feet of torque that it was making beforehand. So you know that is something to consider. Maybe that power bump kind of ate away at the gas mileage, even though one would kind of think, or at least I would think personally that the uh, EcoBoost, you know, would do even better, do even better with the 10-speed automatic transmission. But, uh, you know, maybe that's why the GT is doing better because of that 10-speed automatic transmission. Uh, and, you know, it gave it two more miles to the gallon as far as highway is concerned. So, you know, it is something to consider. And also thinking, you know, you probably won't get those exact numbers. Uh, you know, I, I actually get better than, you know, what I'm supposed to with my car as far as gas mileage. But some most people do not. So, you know, especially with Mustangs, a lot of us have heavy foots. Uh, so, you know, you might be getting worse than that, and you might be in an EcoBoost thinking that you're going to get better, but you're actually getting, you know, the GT gas mileage from the 15 through 17 generation. And I've, I just, it just really blows my mind there. I think that's really something to think about, because like I said already, you know, that's kind of your reasoning of getting the EcoBoost Mustang is this, you know, have that, you know, fuel mileage benefit and if it's not there then you know what's the point i mean uh, obviously the car will still be cheaper because it's the four cylinder turbo and not the v8 but you know it's it's basically like i said you know the main point of getting the eco boost it's called the eco boost for that reason uh it's supposed to be you know, you know more economically friendly and whatnot so you know there's something to think about that's all i really had to talk about in today's video uh you know just some quick thoughts, some quick Mustang news. You know, like I said, I only know a little, very small thing about the bullet, but I really can't talk about it. But, you know, it's just some ideas. Let me know what you guys think uh, down below in the comments. Uh, side note, last thing I'm going to say here, I still think, I, I don't know if you guys saw my video. If you have not seen the video about me talking about, uh, you know, the EcoBoost Mustang and how I, everyone really thought that the uh, um, EcoBoost V6 was coming, uh, before the four cylinder came out back in like 2014 before we actually knew what the 15 model s550 was I talked about basically my theory of the a ego boost coming uh, the V6 Mustang coming back in, in a uh, EcoBoost format. Uh, basically, I'm going to go ahead and run it over it real quick. Basically, what I was saying was that the it might not be a 3.7 liter, but I do see a third option coming back for the Mustang because I feel like it would be kind of dumb for Ford to, you know, have Chevy having three options. Uh, Dodge doesn't have three options, but, you know, Chevy, I feel like it's kind of their main competitor because uh, Ford and Chevy, you know, they go back and forth. So, you know, I feel like there will be a third option coming back. It probably won't be the 3.7, like I've said, but I do feel like there will be a EcoBoost V6 coming back with more power, and uh, the EcoBoost four-cylinder will become the base model car. You know, it's just my just my opinion. I feel like it might happen in 2020, but you know, only time will tell, guys. So, like I said, comment down below what you guys think. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, like I said, I put the power down, and on Snapchat at Dan the Lightman. And, and I'll catch you guys in another video.